Hello, Scorpio. This is your past, present, and future energy reading in love for Scorpio at this time. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome, everyone. Hope everyone's doing well. Oh, my goodness. We have a lot happening, Scorpio. This flipped over and this fell out. So what we have here is the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is the happiest, one of the happiest cards in the deck. It's the happiest, uh, it's happily ever after. It is a love relationship that does not have a good foundation. Okay, so it does speak. Ten of Cups is a turning point, and it really, there's a beautiful rainbow. This could be, for some of you, a big surprise. The Tower card says that you weren't prepared for this, but we're gonna clarify that Tower card because every now and then, it's a really wonderful card of surprises, but oftentimes it means you need a foundation. Virgo energy, Scorpio, look at that Knight of Pentacles energy. Taking your time, doing the work, staying grounded, staying strong. Oh, good, King of Swords energy, Aquarius. So we have Pisces. We have Aries and we have Virgo. Now we have the King of Swords energy, which is Aquarius energy. That is you being very strategic. You're really thinking through what you want. You're not going to just be swept away by passion. We have this new love affair, beautiful energy. The Fool card, you are taking the leap of faith but you are doing with a, a certain level of knowledge, wisdom, time under your belt, you know what you want, you have great clarity about what you want, and you want something honest and beautiful and quite sound. The Two of Swords says right now, you're not looking too closely, <clears throat> you're living more in the moment. You, even though this card seems to imply, Two of Swords usually means that you're blindfolded, but you can see under this, you have a beautiful bird's nest and a beautiful bird house, but you can see under here, but you're pretending not to see what you actually see. Scorpio, how scorpionic of you. However, this energy of the Two of Swords is very much Libra energy. It's about relationships. So Ben Franklin, who was a founding father of the United States said, go into your life and go into your marriage with your eyes wide open and thereafter, half shut. So it really speaks the truth about turning a blind eye to minor things. Okay. The Three of Cups in the future energy, being best friends, besties. You know, sometimes this can be, uh, if we get the Ace of Coins with this, it can be the set of engagement. But you want to marry your best friend. Ten of Pentacles. You've gotten two of the most divine powerhouse cards for relationship. Ten of Coins is an abundant, wealthy, prosperous marriage, family life, everything. It's loyal. There's dogs, there's kids, there's grandparents, there's a beautiful home, there's great neighbors, there's funds for college. It's a beautiful, abundant relationship that is marriage. The Ten of Cups, the Ten of Coins, happily ever after marriage, abundant marriage. Okay, so let's see what else we have in your future position. The Ace of Swords, the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. You have great clarity. That Ace of Swords is the intellectual part of what the King of Swords is bringing to the table. So you are, you really know where you're at, you know what you want, and you're not going to settle for less. So we're going to look at the Moonology advice for the overall energy or lesson that is going to be shown in this reading. So what is the underlying issue here that our Scorpio friends need to pay attention to? Okay, what is the energy message from Spirit about this reading? What does Scorpio need to learn or do? Ooh, nothing will come of this situation. Okay, well then that explains it, right? We have the Tower card here. So the beautiful thing about a tarot reading is that you can change the outcome with your choices. So even though, I mean, even though you're very happy and you're working on this, what spirit is saying is nothing will come of this if there's not a strong foundation. So all of these dreams will go up in smoke if you don't have that foundation. Okay, so we're going to look at the clarifiers. And we're going to see what we need to see about the Fool card, especially, as well as the Tower card. But everything will be clarified. Why do we have the Ten of Cups? You are in this beautiful energy of the Ten of Cups in the recent past. 
Nine of Pentacles, single woman, single lady. Put a ring on it is what you're saying. Beautiful energy. It really speaks to the fact that your heart is filled with love and that you would consider marrying this person. The hair font, there we go, marriage card, traditional marriage. Six of swords, you are still healing from something in the past. So it does look like you're quite emotional. You've moved into this love affair very quickly. Even though, you know, you're, you know, it's with six of swords, it could be a rebound love affair. The world card, ah, the world card and the tower card. Closing out a cycle of instability. Love it. We also have the Nine of Cups in reverse, which is not a bad reversal. It just says that there's delayed gratification as you move forward in this relationship. Why do we have, tell us about the tower. What is the instability here? It looks as though you've met this person right when you're making big changes in your life. Page of Wands, throwing caution to the wind. So really jumping in. You know, that's like going out, falling in love, and you know, planning a wedding in your head with the king of swords in your head um before there's even really a stable foundation to the relationship the tower card double yep yeah, there we go so the tower card the tower card it's really speaking to the fact that you've put you've gotten ahead of yourself you know it, it looks as though this relationship it doesn't have a strong foundation and that that being the case you will not be able to make something come of the relationship now, the other clarifier for the Knight of Pentacles is a lover's card. Making a choice to be happy is going to be very important. Um, but the lover's card is a card of choice. It is a soulmate card. Uh, and the Nine of Cups reverse says that you see this person as your soulmate. The Nine of Cups says that your person may not see it that way. They might just see you as somebody who's quite lovely and fulfilling to spend time with. Why is the Nine of Cups in reverse by the Lover's card? Why is the Nine of Cups in reverse? Three of Wands. Okay. So basically, this is kind of like count, you know, counting your, your eggs before they're hatched. This is really jumping ahead way too quickly to assume a victory. You need to move more slowly. You need to build the foundation because if you don't, this will come crumbling down. You won't get your wish fulfillment because that's the meaning of the nine of cards upright is wish fulfillment. Now it's a beautiful card. So no matter which way it's positioned, but with the three of wands, your ships are coming in. The lover's card is here. This person's a very good lover for you. They're very fulfilling for you. What do we need to know about the double tower? Tell us, spirit, double tower, what is this foundation? The seven of wands, feeling defensive. It looks as though somebody passes judgment prematurely on the relationship. Judgment is that it looks as though knight of swords, something gets said in the relationship that is like a wake up call. It's a warning shot. You feel defensive, but the truth of the matter is, is that the person that you're dealing with is not on the same page with you in terms of feeling all the same feelings. They're just not. Why is there so much instability in this relationship? The high priestess, okay. So the high priestess says intuitively that you know, you, you thought, and sometimes this happens with clients, I'll have them call me, they'll ask for a reading and then they go, but I know the answer, so I don't really need you. And so it's like, well, why would you come to a psychic or a high priestess to get answers? So what I would caution you with Scorpio is that you just have to really be sure you have to give your theories the test of time before you make assumptions, before you rush ahead to fantasize about a beach wedding or whatever. You really do, and I don't like to talk like that. But anyway, that's the energy I'm getting, so I'm sharing it. King of Swords is clarifying the King of Swords. So presently, in the recent past, you had kind of a very unstable start. Now you're in this very aloof energy, very aloof. King of Swords is all about, you know, it's like the surgical precision of Scorpio going in in a life or death situation. And look at this, you're gonna have a new beginning. So I feel as though whatever relationship you thought was going to be your happily ever after appears to end with a double tower as the indicator. 
and it looks as though the lesson learned here is that you jumped ahead too quickly. Now coming into the current energy, I really like it for you because you're trying to stay cool, calm, and collected. Two of Swords, I'm not going to jump to any conclusions. I'm not going to get ahead of myself. Knight of Wands energy, I'm going to enjoy the passion. King of Cups, here you are, Scorpio, in your reading. I'm going to move forward very swiftly without really expecting a lot. But look at what you have. You have the Ten of Cups is coming. Your Ten of Cups that failed here has appeared here in the present situation. Now, how lucky is that? It is amazingly lucky. The Four of Coins, you are holding on very tightly to a new opportunity. You're trying to stay very, very grounded. The Three of Coins energy with the Four of Coins is beautiful. It speaks to someone with whom you can truly collaborate. So we also get the Six of Cups energy for the King of Swords. So for some of you, you could be going back or reuniting with someone from the past. But it also speaks to being at a very sweet point in your life. The Sun card, you may meet somebody this summer. It looks as though it's going on right now. For most of you, you may meet this person through work um, or they may do something in your industry even if you don't know them in, in through your exact work situation. But the Sun card is speaking of great happiness, great joy. You know, just really taking things a day at a time. I like to always say to my clients, the first three months of dating is not about falling in love because that's premature. The first three months is getting to know somebody enough to know if you want to go, if you want to keep dating them. It really is that simple. The Six of Wands energy is clarifying. Look at a victory with a, a dear, dear friend. So I do think for some of you, you've had a friend that's been lurking that hasn't told you how they feel and they're coming in. For others, you're meeting this person through your work environment, collaborating on a project, and it goes really well. Why do we have the Ten of Coins? Why are you going to have an abundant marriage? Two of Swords. Well, not yet. <laughs> the Two of Swords says you're not there yet, but when the time comes, you will have it. You will manifest it. So why do we have... The Three of Cups again with a victory card. Let's get more clarification. The Empress. Ooh, you are in your attractive power. Venus is in Virgo. You are looking great. You speak beautifully and you make yourself clear. We have two threes. We have, uh, we have something that is brewing and being created. Magician card. The truth of the matter is you have all the tools the truth be told is that you are manifesting this beautiful relationship. My God, the Magician card, which is Virgo and Gemini energy, with the truth and the clarity, you're building this strong, Ten of Pentacles is about foundation. And, you know, you're just going to stay calm, carry on, take it a day at a time. It's gorgeous. It looks as though even though one relationship is not working the way you want it to, it's kind of a surprise over here. This is very unexpected to you, although you are manifesting it. So that energy of manifestation is very powerful for you. But I love the energy, the Magician card and the Empress card with the Ten of Coins. So you're going to really be involved. Your love affair is going to be with someone who is abundant like yourself. They love the truth. They speak the truth. They will feel like your very best friend. And we see the magic, the chemistry is going to be off the charts. The Empress, both of you are going to be reveling in this very nurturing, warm cocoon of love. The Shaman's Dream Oracle, it says that you are in a balancing act in love, Scorpio, so keep that in mind. You have to balance things out. Don't get a little bit overly anxious. And Divine Matrix... So you are living a part of your life that seems very mysterious, but this is, this is a journey that you're on. Scorpio, you leave one relationship, you have another one right here, sort of following in the door, and I'm getting this beautiful energy for you. So you do manifest something incredible. Scorpio, best reading I've seen for you, you and Libra, both. It's been a joy bringing this reading to you. I hope that you enjoyed it. 
And thank you so much for, for staying and viewing. Thank you.